Hi gang, Dr. Ron Caps, Nick Prof. We've been working with some things on Gmail uh, lately, and I was asked by someone uh, how to go in and work with your settings, uh, how to change some things around, and a couple of people wanted to know what was an easy way to do a signature box. And if you have a Gmail account, just go into your main page and go up where you see the little gears, and these will be the options for mail settings. And click on your mail settings, and you'll see the mail settings will come back up uh, and load here in just a second. And we'll go in and I'll show you where you can make a lot of changes that you may or may not have known were able to be made. For example, right now you see that I'm showing the first one of 100 out of 4,000 uh, in the current inbox. And what we'll be able to do is we'll be go in uh, and we can show you how that you can change that. Uh, to as few as you want up to a maximum I believe of 100. Right now we're having that infamous uh, Chrome problem that they run into occasionally where uh, it becomes unresponsive and here we are just a little patience is all it takes. Okay maximum page size. What they're referring to here are the number of conversations on a page and as I said 100 I believe was max it is. You can set them as few as 10 as many as 100. I leave it at 100 because it's easier to scan that way. Contacts per page, uh, you can do 50, 100, or 250. I leave it maxed out at 250. Uh, I have my shortcut keys off. Uh, I do uh, want to display external images. I always want it to be in a secure HTTPS mode. You see that right up there? Uh, that's a secure server. Uh, I prefer to keep it that way. In fact, I've noticed uh, right now that uh, they are already experimenting with it uh, for an HTTPS secure uh, Google search setting. So you might keep your eye open for that or the next time you want to do a search on Google, uh, go up to the browser where it might be on your regular search window. If you don't see the S on it, go in and add the S and see if it will take you into the beta of their uh, secure server search. I don't usually rate anything with stars uh, presently. Uh, this would be marking something uh, if you want to be able to find it at a glance. I rather set up folders and go in and do things that way. In another video I'll show you how to do filtering on Gmail. And desktop notifications uh, are turned chat notifications are on, mail notifications are off. I get so many emails a day uh, that doesn't work very well for me to have notifications on. I'd be going stir crazy. Uh, the picture I make visible to everyone. I use the same photo on all my profiles and across Google. Uh, I find that that works out quite well. It's consistency of brand and everyone uh, as long as I basically look like that, know who and what I am. I'm going to have to update the photo a little bit. If someone says I don't look 64, uh, that photo is about five years old, four or five years old, so I've got more gray in my hair now and uh, the gr uh, rims on the glasses have changed. Uh, do you want to show contact photos? And uh, when I send a message to a new person, add them to other contacts so I can auto-complete them on the next set. And important signals for ads. Show more useful ads by using important signals from across my messages. Uh, I would rather do that than don't use signals. Now the signature box is what we wanted to talk about. You'll notice right here you can come in and a signature is the thing that you find appended automatically to the bottom of any email that you send or receive. And in this particular case this is the one I've been using uh, from my Gmail account to your continued growth and prosperity in life and all you may do. Ron, aka Dr. Ron, contact information and then a series of links of where people can find me online. Uh, the main blog, uh, Twitter, Facebook, uh, fan page, Facebook, LinkedIn, social media dominoes, tutorial series, uh, and MySpace. And yes, I still get traffic from MySpace, gang. It is not dead.
you have basically a mini uh, word press or word processor up here you can bold what you want you can italicize it you can underline it you can change font or text color you can add hyperlinks in your uh, sig you could do that two ways one you can do it by merely typing in the full url like i've done there or if i wanted to i could have just typed in niche prof and then linked it i could have typed in twitter then linked it, but I just soon do that. That way, it's uh, very easy, and I can already always check it quite readily. The other thing I wanted to show you here is I've got a promotion coming up for Social Media Dominoes, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an image because you can put an image in your signature file. So I'm going to go over and I'm going to pop over the screen uh, for the Social Media. Domino's package that I've got up on the uh, 64th birthday bonanza and I'm going to take the cursor and I'm going to right click and copy the image URL now I'm going to send this back over to my other monitor I'm going to want to put this image in oh let's put it right above that tagline right there and let's go ahead and let's insert image and we'll paste by doing control V the image in there and we're going to tell it OK notice uh, they had a warning there about copyright infringement and so forth uh, I don't have to worry about that because this is my own uh, I paid for it I own the rights to it but let's go on in and see what else we've got here I can make it the original size I can make it large I can make it medium or small let's take a look small no nope, don't don't think that's gonna work medium eh, a little bit better but they can't really tell what it is large all right nice and visible I like that so now we have a signature I've added an image to it and we're going to go on down uh, I never use the vacation autoresponder uh, you can uh, when you are on vacation you can send them a note letting them know you're on vacation I just don't do that okay before I save changes here the one other thing I want you to be sure of is that you realize that with Gmail for five dollars a year I believe it is you can upgrade your account by adding 20 gigabytes of storage and I think that's an extremely wise investment that way you can keep a lot of email uh, in your folders here and if you ever need to go back in uh, it's like a giant file cabinet you could do a search for it and it will pull up the appropriate email for you uh, for records or uh, anything that you might need correspondence you've had with people that you want to pull back up so I would suggest you go in you do the upgrade at I, like I say I think it's five dollars a year and as you can see I'm using 11.2 gigabytes of 27 gigabytes right now I'm going to save the changes and the only change you really saw me make was I inserted a image into my signature and we're going to go on back over once we finish loading the changes and we're going to compose an email or set it up like we were going to compose one to see what the new signature file looks like and we are going through our nice little chrome dance where we have to sometimes be a little patient and wait I might not have to do the dance except I have so many different windows open uh, right now I probably have 11 windows open and between 5 and 20 tabs on each window okay compose mail and when you go to compose your mail that's where you put your addresses subject start typing your message right there and you can see already preloaded is a sig file with the image okay so gang there you have it quick and simple some of the basic settings to be aware of in Gmail 
and how to set up your signature file in Gmail and how to add an image to it. Alright, see you in the next video. In the meantime, I hope it's a profitable and prosperous week and you stay healthy. Take care all.